all of us have what I call our special fairy dust, our individualism. How do you express your individualism in, in whatever you do? This is a really good question because I used to be terrible at this, like awful. I, I was really bad at showing up as I am. This is something that I've had to do a lot of work on myself, a lot of reflection to be accepting of who I am. And that that probably looks different than what others might expect from me and being okay with that. Um, that has taken years of evolution. So now everything I do, like my business, like I mentioned, is online on social media. Everything I write is written the way I speak. Um, when I reach out to customers, when I talk to my team members, it's exactly in the way that I speak. It's not scripted. It's not glossed over and filtered down. This is who I am. Online and offline, I'm the exact same person. Mm -hmm. um, and I've also learned to only say yes to things that are a hell yes. <laughs> if it's not all in yes, then it's right. a no. Mm -hmm. And that's learning to say no um, has been a challenge, but it has made life so much sweeter and so much better. Um, and then the other part was the photos that you mentioned. I'm so glad you touched on that because the photos that I take are of my life, are mm -hmm. of my family in my family. They're not curated. I'm not saying, Hey, let's go do this and take these photo shoot photos. They're actually happening in my life. And they're from the viewpoint even down to the colors I use in editing of how I see the world. Mm -hmm. So there isn't a difference. You can't untangle me from my work at this point. That's beautiful. Well, you're doing a fabulous job because it is, you, it's, it is, Thank as you. I mentioned earlier, it feels like we're there with you when, Thank when you. those pictures in. It's lovely. So, so I touched on higher purpose. And again, higher purpose is that meaningful reason to live and that money is not part of the equation. Do you believe it's important to have a higher purpose to have a successful career? Then I'll ask a couple of questions after that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I believe everybody has a higher purpose. Mm -hmm. I, for a long time, I believed that it was tied to my career. Now I believe that it's much bigger than that. Mm -hmm. But if I'm lucky, my career will be part of that. Um, and I believe in some ways it is. But my higher purpose, to be successful in your career, I think believing that you have a higher purpose and being open to maybe that being different than you originally thought is important because that was very true for me. Um, but I think knowing what it is mm, isn't as important to success. I think you okay. can get there and have success along the way. Yeah, I, I would have to agree too. So would you say you have a higher purpose? And if so, what is it? And how did you find it? And if not, did it has it impacted you? <laughs> yeah, I 100% have a higher purpose. As I mentioned, I thought it was related to my career. It isn't. It's bigger. Um, I 100% believe that my higher purpose is doing the work on myself from the inside out um, and healing generational hurts and generational patterns um, and healing that within myself and my own family and seeing the impact that that has on my family of five and even for generations to come. Right, right. And, and that's probably, it's going to impact positive the way that your children grow up and understand better for themselves. And so you're developing these foundations for them. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So what are some inner blocks, that negative talk that comes to, uh, to all of us um, that hold you or has held you back? Yeah, that's a really good one. Um, I would say the primary one is that my value and my worth are tied to my ability to do things for usually do all things for all people. Um, and that just spreads me too thin. It really does. And it doesn't allow me to use my purpose and my power in a, in a focused way. Um, and that has helped me back. It's something I'm actively working on on a day-to-day -day life. Um, and as I learn, as I mentioned, as I learn to say no to things, the yeses get bigger and brighter and so much more beautiful. I love that. And, and part of you earlier, when we were talking, you mentioned knowing your worth. So at one point, was that something that ha you had inner talk about that and that you had to also work through? Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, you follow me on social media. So, you know, that I'm very open about the fact that I'm in counseling and I'm very open about mental health and things that have to do with that, because I believe there's a giant stigma around that. 
um, a lot of that work has come from being in counseling consistently for a long time. Um, the other part of it is just getting quiet and still with myself. Um, I don't know if that comes with age, um, if that comes with experience, or I think also it partially has been intentional that I said, this version of me isn't quite there yet. What does that look like? Um, I'm constantly reading and listening to podcasts on personal growth. Mm -hmm. um, and I definitely think that those things have impacted that as well. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. 